Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomer here with some more Root, a game of Woodlands, Might and Right. This is a digital version of a hmm, board game, war game, war game, board game, yeah. Anyway, I'm still on tutorial phase, I want to learn this game and play it properly, maybe to play it at the board game place, maybe to do some videos, maybe to just be able to teach it to people or maybe all of it. Anyhow, let's go to tutorial here and well, last time something weird happened when I played the long war for the forest and uh, yeah, not sure what happened, maybe it was a bug, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Anyway, the attacker should have the uh, advantage when... Um, when attacking and it didn't seem like that when I attacked my three people against five so yeah if somebody can explain what happened then that would be amazing but anyway let's do the <laughs> let's do the bird of the feather tutorial learn to play the eerie dynasties okay so Marquise the cat places down their stuff and their warriors and this is our roost here the proud eerie dynasties wish to reclaim the glory of their once great aristocracy and retake the woodland from the Marquise they score each turn by building and protecting the roosts in the woodland right you begin with a roost and six warriors Roosts are the Eris only building type they are used to craft cards from your hand recruit warriors and score victory points each turn Kaka! We'll need a leader who can expand our avian empire. Let's select the despot since he will allow us to build from turn one. Right, so yeah, you can choose the type of leader here. Builder starts with move and recruit actions. Uh, the charismatic does start with battle and recruit. Commander with move and battle and despot with move and build. If you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score one point. Interesting. Yeah, I know, we're gonna choose the one the game tells us to choose, I guess, here. So they get uh, they get wild decrees at move and build. The Eerie must follow the official decree each turn. Each column of the decree is associated with a different action. Your leader determines the initial actions in your decree, in this case, move and build. Each turn we must add one or two cards to our decree. Only one card added may be a wild card. Let's add a mouse now. Yes, but where? Oh, in recruit. So you want me to recruit at mouse. Okay. As your decree grows, you can do more and more each turn. When you assign cards to your decree, only their suit applies. If you want to use a card's effect, you must save it for the crafting phase. During daylight, you may craft cards from your hand using roosts. Each roost contributes the suit of its clearing towards paying costs, much like the Marquis workshops. Okay. Your roost in the mouse clearing will allow you to craft sappers. This card will come in handy if you're attacked. In battle as defender, may discard this to deal an extra hit. Well, this card doesn't explain the, how we lost that fight, but maybe some other card can. Interesting. I wonder if this works even if you don't have the people. Anyway, we'll craft it, why not? Okay. No need, no cards to craft, press continue button, okay. During daylight, your decree is resolved from left to right. Recruit a warrior in a roost matching the suit of your decree assignment. Right, so now you have to do this from left to right. And if you fail, your whole decree resets. So over time, uh, over time, the number of things you can do grows and grows and grows as long as you can do everything that's here. If you fail to do it, then... Um, then you get reset, you lose like points I believe, and uh, and yeah, you get down to two, choose a new leader, and so on and so forth. Anyway, we're gonna recruit a warrior here, there we go. Assigned to, uh, okay, a wild card assigned to a decree can be used in any clearing, right? Move three warriors to the clearing, fox clearing below. Three warriors allow you to maximize the hit potential of your roll die in a battle. Right, so three warriors sure so now i have to move let me just see something do i have to move from or into that clearing i think 
Okay, I'm gonna check it out a little bit later. We skip the battle action because you don't have any cards assigned to the battle column of your degree decree. Finally, we get to build our second roost. Okay, okay, so each turn we also have to build a roost, okay. Well, we can move from anywhere, so we'll be able to like move across the map, build like a million roosts, no problem. There we go, and <laughs> this cat's looking at it, it's like meow meow. At the start of evening, you score victory points for your roost. Select your avatar for more details. Right, so here we are. The roost track shows our progress towards retaking the forest. The more roosts you have, the more victory points you score each turn. Okay. Okay. The goal, have three roosts. Marquise the cat's turn. Okay. These bird brains think they can retake the forest? Not on our prowl. So what do they do? They build a recruiter and they build oh they recruit from two recruiters okay and they move this one here and they move that one there okay and that's it right new day new opportunity to add to your decree let's add a card to recruit so we can get more warriors each turn oh you want me to recruit in fox as well I mean, okay. Each turn you may also assign a second card to your decree. Assign a mouse card to the battle column so we can fight the Marquis in mouse clearings. Well, <laughs> you might want to say we have to fight the, the Marquis in mouse clearings. Okay. Oh, there it says. Recruit warriors in a matching clearing with a roost. Move warriors from a matching clearing. From. Battle in a matching clearing and build in a matching clearing of your rule without a roost. So I guess we have to move here, clear the cats, and then build. Otherwise, the decree will fail. Mm. Nothing to craft this turn, no matter. Your disdain for trade limits your reward for crafting items to a single victory point. Trade, like many things, is quite literally beneath you. Okay. <laughs> Choose a clearing to recruit warriors. Well, we have to do it both here and here anyway. Okay. Move three warriors into the mouse clearing with your opponent's recruiter to set up a battle. Well, that's a mouse clearing. And we need to move, what, three warriors? Okay. A false smell hangs in the air. The eerie must be approaching. Time to fight, make those dirt dwellers tremble in the presence of your aerial warriors. We might fail at the Kree here. I think the game will teach us that as well. Well no, actually we can we can build the roost either way because we have the we have the majority here. What a glorious battle! We must rule a clearing to place a roost there. Warriors in the buildings in a clearing contribute to who rules it. The area always, ties always win. Okay. Choose a clearing to build a roost. There we go. You draw an additional card during evening for every three roosts you have in play. Okay. So we draw an extra card here. Oh, we drew a wild card. That's really good. Wild cards are really rare and precious. And they choose the field hospital to get the cats back. Okay, they're gonna kill my roost here. I will not be able to recruit if they do. Select the zapper's card you crafted to take out an additional enemy warrior. Okay. So they killed my dude, but they also... Oh, wait, what? How did that happen? Didn't they like have like oh they rolled a two so they killed both my dude and the thing okay I feel turmoil approaching but you must add to the decree each turn no matter what make an assignment now just don't worry too much about where <laughs> oh, okay really a turmoil approaching maybe we can prevent it let's see Yeah, dude, there is no... So I have to battle in the mouse clearing. And there is no mouse clearings. Uh, 
close by. Oh, they really set it up. Okay, there's a mouse clearing down there. So technically, technically we could move my warriors down there and there. But there's no, ah, there's no enemies there to fight. Oh, there's one here. We could move like here and then here and fight. If I put, ooh. So I could put something into move. I think I will. How about recruit? Oh, wait. I can recruit in mouse. Oh, I cannot recruit. I cannot recruit in fox. So it's gonna be the, the thermal in either way. Okay, so no matter what I do here, it's gonna fail. Well, I can recruit in... No. Yeah, I can recruit in one of these two mouses, but that's it. Yeah. So yeah, putting uh, not wild cards into recruit seems like a dangerous thing to do. Okay. I'm gonna put it here so we can recruit more people. There you go. <laughs> Choose a clearing to recruit warriors. Okay. Mouse? Does it have to be different clearings? It doesn't have to be different clearings. So I can recruit one more here. Then I can recruit one more here. Yeah. So first it's checking out the, the ones which is harder to please. No clearings to recruit in that match that the Kree continue to enter terminal. So yeah, we cannot uh, recruit in the Fox. So we lose our government here. Could not recruit in a Fox clearing. Leader deposed. How could you? Useless leader, take him down. We need a new leader. Let's go. Those malevolent Marquis destroyed your only roost in a in a fox clearing last turn, leaving you with no fox clearings to recruit to. During turmoil, you discard all the cards in your decree and lose one point for each discarded. During turmoil, you discard all the cards in your decree and lose one point for each discarded wild card. You then select a new leader and proceed to evening. Okay. We lost a whole bunch of points, dude. <laughs> choose a leader. Uh, so we cannot choose the same one, right? Commander, move and battle. As attacker in battle, you deal an extra hit. Charismatic, battle and recruit. You place two warriors, not one, each time you recruit. Battle and recruit, okay. Move and recruit. Ignore your disdain for trade when you craft. So we're gonna go for numbers here. Battle and recruit. I mean, we could. We have like a lot of warriors right now. As attacker in battle, you deal an extra hit. No, I think I don't need extra hits here. I think we just like overwhelm with numbers, right? Yeah, let's go charismatic. Yeah, sure. We have five people here, let's use them. Avoiding turmoil requires careful placement of cards to your decree. Try to match suits to the clearings you plan on interacting with. Cards, uh, wild cards may lose your victory points during turmoil, but they offer flexibility that can help prevent it from happening. Yeah, if I could choose, I would always put like uh, wild cards in all my things, right? And the kitty cat here is like, hey, hey, he failed with the decree, how could he? Well, tutorial made me do it. Right, you, you look ready to take it from here. Destroy enemy buildings, craft cards and build and protect roots to score 10 points and complete this scenario. Right, so we got a, we got a fox clearing here, I think. Hmm. I will not be able to fulfill the fox clearing build because I don't have a move command to come here and rule it so I can build. Uh, and I cannot, certainly cannot recruit in a fox clearing. I could battle in a fox clearing, I guess, but I don't have a move, so how would I be able to fight? So I can't put this thing down right now, basically. Yeah, so we need like a different card. This one sucks. Okay. 
If you're having trouble deciding what card suits you're assigned to your decree, you can always minimize it and reveal the map. Once you have a better idea of your board positioning move, then you can re-expand your decree and assign cards with more confidence. Oh, but I have to play a card. Oh, dude, this sucks. Like, for real now? This is tough luck. <laughs> okay. Move warriors from a matching clearing. Yeah. Recruit battle. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have to play this, but I have to, right? Yeah, okay. Um... <laughs> Well, I'd rather have it fail here than earlier. Assigning the card to build will lead to turmoil unless you take control of clearing with an open building slow this turn. Pre press the cancel button on the decree if you want to undo. No, I don't think I can do anything with this anyway. Yeah, I don't have the move, so... Maybe... And I don't have any warriors in, 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 in the foxes anyway. Yeah, no, that's fine, dude. That's okay. Choose a clearing to recruit warriors. Well, here, I think. Okay. Choose an enemy to battle. Well... You score one point for each enemy building and token removed. Removing warriors does not score. Okay. Well, there's one problem with this whole thing. And that's that, well... You can't be rebuild a rose in a clearing since you don't have any clearings. Yeah, blah, blah. Right. Well, is this tutorial always like that? That you draw like a card move? Yeah, well... No, it's not. I could have chosen like move and recruit or move and battle, but I chose the... Yeah, okay, I get it. It was a bad leader choice. Uh, let's go commander, move and battle. Okay. Well, I did not foresee that I'm gonna draw the fox. I guess we learned some, like, good things here. They are expanding rapidly. This is not a race, though. I don't think you can lose here. But cats are like... Oof. Your turn. Yeah, they're already on 11 points. Right. Uh, okay, my turn. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Remember, if you are... Are ever unable to perform an action assigned to your decree, your flock will fall into turmoil. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I chose the wrong leader. That's what it mean. Okay. So, like... I feel like I want to battle. I have the rabbits have the rabbits I can battle in the rabbit clearing there's two cats here well actually there's a building here workshop I want to take that thing down so we're gonna be battling here and then we can also battle up there unless he moves them out <laughs> that would be pretty funny but I can counter that with move move and then battle there I guess Yeah. We could also do move and build. But build seems like a little bit risky. But we would draw an extra card if we build a roost. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's throw two extra cards. That will give us the flexibility. Okay, I'm gonna go with the build. So we're gonna move battle, move battle, and then build. There we go. Assigning, assigning to build will lead to terminal access to control of a bunny clearing. With an open building slot this turn. Press the cancel. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. We are all right. 
They are all right. I want to destroy their workshop here. Oh, look at their recruiters here, dude. They are really massing up armies. Now I have to decide, do I move these dudes or, or these dudes? Do I care about this place? How hard will it be to take that down? It will be pretty hard. Okay. And this could be like my base of operations here. Right, okay. Uh, that's good. Now, no cards left. Craft, press continue. Choose a clearing to move from. So here or here. Yeah, let's move from the corner. Corner doesn't seem that useful. I'm pretty sure I want to go here. And blast that thing out of the water. Now, how many? I mean, three maximizes my dice effectiveness. Not sure if we're gonna be able to defend, but I'm also fine not being able to. Ah. How likely it is to, like, if they move these two guys there. Yeah, I want two people there at least. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna attack. Oh, come on, dude, really? Okay, we get one extra one from the commander, so we do kill the cat, but we don't destroy the workshop. So I can't believe neither of the dice rolled. Okay, now we can build a roost here, so we're gonna draw two cards, which is pretty good. That's gonna give us the flexibility we need and want. Oh, we draw bunnies. Okay. Oh, in battle you may discard this to, like, ignore all the... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's see what they're doing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, they're moving one dude there. Interesting. Right. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Well, I can do recruit from here. Yeah, two bunnies. Well, these are actually not connected. I just realized. Um, will I keep this roost alive? That's the question. I mean, I will try. I will definitely try to keep this one alive. A start of daylight may initiate a battle. Okay. At start of evening may take a move. Interesting. If you build these, okay. Um Yeah, I think we're gonna like use this as new base of operations and hit their recruiters here. Or at least try to. We can move from mouse. We can move from mouse there as well. Yeah, let's use this place. Like, I could recruit twice here, then move a whole bunch of guys, fight in the f in the this thing. I I need to I need to secure a build here though, so I need to move from there there. Yeah, so I kind of need to move here, unless you just wanna fight here, which is also fine. But yeah, I need to build in a bunny. So I really need to aggressively, like, grab the bunnies. So there's one more bunny down there. So there's a bunny here, there's a bunny there. Okay. Mm. So I guess once I have the roost, like, here, here, and here, I will, like, fail the thing anyway, regardless. Unavoidable, but... Okay. Unless they're stupid enough to destroy my roosts, one of my roosts. Yeah, I could like, maybe bait them into doing that. Mm. Oh, there's a bunny down there. We can move into and build also from here. Yeah, I think, I think recruit in bunny makes sense. Because I need to build in Bunny always, and if I can protect it, then I'll be able to recruit. Yeah, 
Our question is, do we recruit once more? I don't think we can, like, keep up the pace with the... Well, yes and no. I really think I need to go down and hit that. My problem is, I also, I also need to go bring people here and build the roost there. Or there. I think we'll move down here, build a roost there. So we're gonna move there and battle there. I could pick like... I kind of want to destroy this workshop. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'll battle here. We don't have to battle there. We just come down there and build. Yeah, that's fine. These are their recruiters. I would really like to like hamper that. Sawmill, sawmill, sawmill. Yeah, they have a lot of sawmills. Yeah, I'm feeling like if I hit their recruiters, I will really hurt down their numbers. But they have it well defended. So I think it's just best to just grab that research. Um, move from bunny, battle in the bunny. I could put another one to recruit, I guess. Yeah, they will protect us. Let's go for more army. There we go. Alright. So recruit twice here, then we can move from there down there. And we can battle. We're probably gonna battle here, I guess. And here we're just gonna build. Yeah. I can send one person and build. It's not really a problem. I'll probably send two though. Okay, cool. This one steam rolls, steam rolls like like crazy if you can like keep it up. Okay, recruit time. Uh, oh no, cars to craft. Okay, I was like, dude, what's up with that? Why can't I do anything? Okay, recruit, recruit. There we go. Uh, move. I want to move these down there. We need another bunny so we can build in the bunny. I'm gonna move... This one's not really in a huge danger. Well, it's kind of. I can move three people. That way both roads are secured, right? They cannot possibly kill both. Yeah. Two should also be enough. Because there's nothing in the neighborhood areas. Yeah, let's do two. And let's keep the centralized position nice and fortified. There we go. And we need to choose an enemy to battle. This one is not really. Yeah, let's destroy their workshop here if we can. <laughs> Come on, dude. Like... <laughs> I need one, one dice to roll more than zero. <laughs> like, this is like so unlucky, oh well. And now we build here, okay. Oh boy. Well, we got three victory points, so if we can like... Hold it together for next round, we get 10 points and win the tutorial, I guess. This is fun, I enjoyed the like... Planning out my moves here. <laughs> but look at their points though. But like the standard game is played until 30 points, so there's a good chance I could like backstab them really hard now and take control of the game if it was if, if it would last longer, right? So okay, code breakers. I mean mouse.
what does it do if I play it? Once in a daylight, you may look at another player's hand, okay? In Birdsong, you may discard this to score one point per clearing your rule. In Birdsong, you may discard this to score one point per clearing your rule. Interesting. That's a strong effect. I roll one, two, three, four clearings right now. But with good moves, I could like... This is like win out of nowhere. Yeah, like this could be like 5.6 if you plan your turn well. Jesus. However, at this point, I probably want to play it into my decree. So this thing is a wild card. You will almost always be able to pull it off. Too bad I don't have a fox because I really want to fight the foxes. Um, could move, build. I mean, I could like, do I want to fight twice per turn? It's gonna be hard to fight twice per turn though with only one move, right? Yeah. It's time. I think it's time to add another move here. Where are we gonna build here, I guess? And then next round we can build here, I guess. Can we even build there, dude? I don't know if we can. If we can build in this area. If we can't, our government falls, basically. Because that's the last mouse. So this turn we play here, yeah. Okay, let's do that. And let's see. Oh, that's a mouse. That's a mouse. Yeah, we can we can do like mouse recruit. That feels pretty safe to me. Because yeah, if you lose that, like something horribly went wrong. I mean, they have two soldiers here, but yeah, let's recruit that mouse. We do one battle, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Okay, nothing to cart, uh, craft. Right, choose a clearing to recruit warriors. Uh, right, mouse. Uh, okay, we can recruit down here if you like to. But I think we're gonna do it here. Okay, then one of the moves has to be into the rabbit clearing. Like this. How many are we gonna move? Well, we can rule this, that way nobody can sneak behind us, right? There's like no way. We move all three. So we're gonna rule this one. It's gonna be really hard for them to overrule us to move there. Um, yeah, they don't have that many moves. Okay, choose a clearing to move from. Okay, I also want to like attack this one down here. Gonna move from here. I kind of wanna rule it. Yeah, I want to do some crazy stuff there. There we go. Go, go, birds! Now we have to fight. We can fight anywhere. We can fight here. Or we can fight here. I want to destroy their recruiters. <laughs> I want to reduce their, their human power. Although, like, if they have a fox in their hand, they can, like, get these people back. So it might be better to destroy this workshop here instead. Yeah, there is something about that. I mean, we can destroy that thing also. I mean, but this forces them to like... Use the cards. Like, can I see how many cards they have in hand? Crafted cards. In battle, may this card is to ignore all rolled hits taken. Cards in hand too. Okay. 
Right, that's interesting. Let's just destroy this thing. Okay, another zero zero roll. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, did I get the point for destroying the building? I think I did. And then we build a roof here, and that should be 10 points to win the tutorial. Okay. There we go. So you start slow with the birds, but then you quickly get out of hand. If you can keep it up with doing the decree. So I barely like go to their level now. I would need like a couple more turns to catch up to them and stuff. Okay. Tutorial complete. Great. Marquis the Cat versus Eerie Dynasties. Now that you know the Marquis and Eerie, would you like to play a practice game between them? Uh, yes, I would, but I will do that in the next video. So yeah, come back next video to watch me play a practice game as Eerie against Marquis the Cat. Should be interesting. One on one, it will be a nice and clean fight. Otherwise, usually this game is played in three players, I believe. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, hopefully, enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, then don't forget to like the video and maybe check out some of my other stuff as well. Um, if you find things worthwhile, maybe you wanna subscribe, that would be amazing. Have a wonderful day, do something nice, be kind, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Uh, Niamh signing out. Bye-bye. Root everyone. Pretty cool game.